Now, in this video, we are going to discuss how to convert your Word documents into a PowerPoint presentations in just a few clicks. Now, this trick in MS Word relies on your use of heading styles, which we discussed in the previous video. So what you're going to do is you have to identify which part of your documents will become a title and which parts will become a body or the contents of the slide. So the idea is you have to declare titles as heading one. So you highlight the line that should serve as the title, go to home, and then declare it as a heading. You have to do the same for other lines that will serve as the title slide or the title of the slide. Mark them as heading one. So just to give you a preview, what's going to happen when we convert this into a PowerPoint presentation is that all of this will become a title for each slide. So technically, I now have three slides if I convert this into a PowerPoint presentation. Next, we have to declare the contents as headings as well. The idea is that as long as the content in MS Word is declared as a heading, it will become part of the PowerPoint presentation. Any part of your Word document that is not declared as a heading will not migrate to PowerPoint later on. So from here, you can select which parts only you want to be part of your presentation. And one thing is that when you declare a certain part of your document as a heading, it follows that format. And sometimes you don't want to change the format of the body following a heading format. You don't want it to turn blue like this. So instead, I'm going to declare this as a heading 2, but I will update heading 2 to match the format of what is selected at the moment. I will click here, and now heading 2 has been changed to the format of the text that we currently highlighted. At the same time, this part of the document that I highlighted is now declared as a heading 2. Now, you can select only portions of your text that you want to migrate to PowerPoint later on. So simply declare them as heading 2. I'll highlight this more. Heading 2. And as you could see, I managed to format my document without changing too much of its color or font style. But in reality, these parts of the texts are now headings. If you remember, the benefits of heading is that it will allow you to consistently format your Word document. For example, if I declare heading 1, as a different format, all I have to do is right-click on it, modify, and then change into a different color, a different format, click OK, and there it is. All lines that you declare as a heading will change format consistently. Now, just one thing. Whenever you format something in MS Word, it doesn't carry over to PowerPoint. PowerPoint will follow its own theme. So you have to format it again when you migrate your contents in PowerPoint. So now that I'm ready to transfer this to PowerPoint or to convert this into a PowerPoint document, I have to save it. And now that you saved it, you then have to close it and open your PowerPoint presentation. So let me close. You have to close the Word document because if you don't, then it will not migrate properly. You will get an error message saying that the Word document or the outline is open. So now that we are in our PowerPoint, we then start by going to Home, New Slide, 
and then you have to navigate all the way down to slides from outline once you click that it will open up your document and you have to search for that file now remember that whenever you do this you have to make sure that you know where your files are because if you don't then you will have trouble searching for that file so now that I find or I already found my word document that I just saved that I just formatted I will then click insert and then you'll have to give it some time just a few seconds for the conversion to happen it's starting to flicker it's starting to work okay and there it is so we now manage to migrate our word document into PowerPoint as you could see each of the slide created was from your word document the Luzon Visayas Mindanao were all declared as heading one while the contents are all from heading two each creating their own slide each heading one will create its own slide and then everything under it all headings under that heading one will be under that slide so you may also want to control which parts of your presentation should you convert into heading to because you don't want to cram everything in just one slide so that's it now if you want to format this then you have to then learn how to use master view in PowerPoint which we will discuss in the next video